Jane is my girl, she's my sister, my mom, every woman in terms of I, I've been wearing buttons like this and being, I've been an advocate for a Fifth Women's World Conference ever since I came here in 2002 and got it. What a difference it would make to have a Fifth Women's World Conference. So that's why I'm here with my buttons and flyers and participation in various things. Well, because for some who don't know, when is the last time we had a World Women's Conference? It was in Beijing, China, in 1995. What do you think it is that's delayed this process for so long to have a Women's World Conference? Well, one, it's uh, a women's conference, and there was a feeling that after Beijing that the women had their conference. And, of course, we didn't quite see it that way. I came in 2002 to my first CSW, expecting that in 2005 there would, of course, be, you know, 10 years later there would be another conference. And that's when I learned that there was not only not going to be another conference in 2005, but from the looks of things, there would never be another conference. And that seemed to me a huge mistake on many different counts. One, uh, there was the reality that the leaders of NGOs and the leaders of the UN, women leaders, had all gone to Beijing, or almost all gone to Beijing, and had bonded, had learned from each other, had gotten inspired by each other, and were allies. And every one of them was in, in that sort of more or less 60 age, and they met when they were 30 and 40, mm -hmm. it would seem. And for there to be a new generation of women leaders in this world, there needed to be another conference, for one thing. And the other is, that was in 1995, that was before the internet, it was before social networking, it was before you could even think about having a conference in one place with satellites to any place that it could be set up where a group, a circle of women would decide that they wanted to have a conference and they could draw from the stellar whatever was going on at the main one but they could focus on what was happening in their country and what an experience to organize the world. So now you're looking and hopeful that the fifth Women's World Conference will happen in 2015 That's right. and pretty optimistic that it'll happen which city? Well, they're two separate things. Okay. One is, is getting the UN behind having a conference in 2015, and then here's San Francisco that will just step right in and say, we've been working on hosting this conference for a year already. We have uh, a steering committee that has brought in corporate people and government people and academic people and all kinds of women who want it to happen. And besides, it was organized by the only department on the status of women in the entire country. Uh, lots of people have uh, commissions on the status of women. But San Francisco has a full-fledged department that is funded by the city and county, has paid employees, and has a really go-getting executive director in Emily Marase, who came to the CSW last year went back to San Francisco a fire to be the host city. Yeah, that's fantastic. It is. So it is. how would you describe the 56th session this year? It's had a lot of good energy. There are lots of younger women here. There are also a lot of women from Africa here. It seems there's more diversity at this one than previous ones that I've been to. I could be mistaken, but that's sort of, you know, you sort of get an impression. Why do you think that is? I really don't know. I, do you, yeah, I wonder if the rural focus for rural empowerment had an impact at all. It must have. It absolutely must have. And of course, most of Africa is rural, so that's probably why. I had kind of a, been concerned that, that there would be difficulty getting rural women here. But there doesn't seem to be a problem. They showed up. So, Jean, having been here for the last week, what do you think the rural woman looks like in 2012? How would you describe her? They're here and they're talking to each other and one of the things that I found when I first came to the CSW and waited in lines and heard, you know, where are you from and all that stuff. What was interesting is that there were women from Africa whose countries were right next to each other who would only meet in New York. 
And that's also the reasons for a Fifth Women's World Conference. There were there'd be women on the continent, in a continent like a, like Africa, that would have a chance to come together and make a difference, which they do. The American and the African women are amazing. For uh, the 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 handicaps from our American standpoint, the what the conflicts that have gone on, the kinds of things that they have dealt with. Amazing, you know, this, the courage and the strength and the ability to get things done, uh, they can be role models for us. In fact, that's one of the reasons for bringing women together is we each serve as a role model for another woman. And that sense is, oh, this is how she could do it in circle. The other thing that has happened over the years from 2002 to now is that whole phenomenon of circle that I had come with the main circle. Uh, the organization that grew out of the book that I'd written. And Circle was a foreign idea here. Now Circles are on the program. On the program. They're special programs just to have Circle time and discussion. Uh, Jean, what do you think it will take to move women forward? Just more of us in in positions where we are, are full participants in the major decisions that happen, whether it's in the home or the community or the country or the world, that the full participation of women, which means not only individually but in numbers, so that that there's a balance. As soon as there's a balance between men and women, the world will change. And the one way to get them there into balance is for women supporting each other in circle and doing this grassroots thing that the women's movement did. appeared to be just women talking in consciousness raising groups and then there was a phenomenon that it became the women's movement and so what I see happening with a 5 WCW or a, a UN 5th Women's World Conference is a re, a, an energizing of the, of the global women's ne- uh, the global women's movement I mean we certainly see it happening already the, the African uh, I mean sorry the, the Arab Spring had a lot of women in it. Occupy has women in it. There are more women who are getting together and and working with men to make a difference. And the more you know, once we get to critical mass, that's really the secret. Yeah. Then a critical number of people, uh, women, see themselves differently and act together and get to critical mass, the world changes. For women who are listening or watching and they're not here in New York today, what would you recommend as one thing that they can do to help the work that you're doing right now? They can learn about what it's all about and one of the and and, and take the first step and there's a petition online. Uh, the easiest way actually to get to it is to is through my homepage, uh, jeanbolin.com. And then there's a little blue uh, Go Petition. And if, if they click on that, it'll take them to the petition where you can read the petition through. Or you can click on the, 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 what takes you to the 5wcw.org, which is a wonderful archival resource to take you t- to get all the information you might want, more than you want. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> my last question is what would be your message to women around the world? To uh, take yourself Oh, I know what. See, I'm I'm stepping up. I'm telling women all over the world that things will come along where that you can take on an assignment. You can take on something to make a difference and you, you, you know it grows out of who you are that you want to do this I call it assignment and I say that when it comes along and it has your name on it only you can say from inside one it has meaning for me two that it will be fun because it will use me and my talents and my networks and because I will be doing it with people that have women that have the same values that makes it fun. And the last thing is that it's motivated by love and therefore energized by this. And I think every woman who has come to the CSW has probably, without 
defining what they were doing as taking on their assignment or living their personal myth. They did it. They're here doing life in a juicy way.